Welcome to part number 10 of the Mega Man X3 Kirby Challenge. Now that we're in the Doppler stages, we have a different set of rules. Basically, we keep most of the old rules, except we can choose whatever weapon we want at the beginning of the stage. The catch is, you have to use it the entire stage. There is still no switching weapons. And the X Buster is a choice, and it's the choice I use for three out of the four stages, just because it wasn't really possible to do it with any of the weapons, because they're really not that great. Now, what made this so frustrating compared to the, the Sigma stages in X1 and X2 was the, the X Buster in X3. It is simply terrible. I described this earlier, but it is horrible. I do not understand what they were thinking with this fully charged shot. Why? Why should I stand still to fire two charged shots that combine to form something that's not even that strong? It is... I can't imagine what they were thinking. It is terrible. And it really made these a lot harder than they should have. Not so much Doppler stages 1, 2, and 3, but Doppler stage 4 would have been so much easier if I didn't have to deal with this. Anyways, we have a mini boss here, and there's two ways you can defeat this mini boss. I do it differently than I did in the Mega Man X3 no damage speedrun. Because the way I'm doing it right here pretty much guarantees that you will get through it without taking a hit. It just takes a little bit longer. So just use this strategy and you will be fine. It's a really simple mini boss. So don't worry about it. But as I was saying, the fully charged shot is just terrible. And it's not so much like the fully charged one, like when you're glowing red. But it's the stage before that that really makes me angry. The one where you're glowing pink. When you fire the two shots and they're both incredibly weak, it just, it feels so wrong. It just doesn't feel natural. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And you're gonna see during these Doppler stages, a few times I have to regulate my charge shots. Like I have to wait to start charging before I do anything. And that's just, that really takes the fun out of it. When I have to start timing my charges, I mean, come on, it just takes the fun out of it. Why is this so terrible? Why didn't they take the approach they did in X1, where it's just a more powerful shot, it doesn't stop you while you're shooting it? I just, I don't understand. I, I really don't. But Doppler Stage 1 isn't too bad. There's a lot of enemies that take multiple hits to defeat, but since you're using the X Buster, it's not too bad. There's really not too many obstacles that are difficult. You should get through this most of the time. Uh, the true difficulty of this stage is the boss. And with this boss, I have one piece of advice. Never, I repeat, never charge up your X Buster. If you destroy the nose, the boss will fill the entire room with acid, and if that happens, you might as well just restart. There is no way you will win without dashing with the a with the room full of acid. It's just not going to happen. So my strategy, just fire off single shots. Be very precise, and do not hit the nose. The nose is pretty fragile. You can shoot it a bunch of times with just the, the pellet. But if you're shooting it with a charged shot, it's going to go down quickly, so do not hit it. You do not want the room to fill up. Um, the boss really doesn't have that many attacks. It just has that claw attack, which you can avoid pretty easily. Just climb up or down the wall to avoid it. Not too bad. But the main problem here is the thing up top that throws trash down at you. Now when it throws the large pieces of trash, it's really not that big of a deal because they just sit on the ground and do nothing. So those really aren't a problem. It's the the teddy bears. I like to call them teddy bears because that's what they look like. But those are the real problem. They will shoot and they shoot in all different directions. And they can hit you while you're on the top of the wall. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, if you just cl if you, uh, cling on to the left wall, you should be fine for most of it. It's not the hardest boss in the world. You shouldn't have too much difficulty with it, but um, when you're first trying it out, you're going to have a lot of problems with it.
Anyways, I'll see you in Doppler stage number two.